So this is my second video diary. I had wanted to do that more often, but as I said in my first video diary, this is why I'm not doing vlogs, because it's not really me, but I've got to do this. I will forget these things when I get older, what happened in my life. But since my last video diary, I came back from Rio. It was amazing. The people were great. I think we had, I had 20, almost 20 riders, I think. I'm not sure exactly how many riders, but it was a lot, the biggest to date. So, and everybody seemed to enjoy it, so that was great. And inside the state of Rio de Janeiro was really beautiful. More beautiful than the actual city, so I was really glad I got to see that. So, funny story. I, this is the thing about Brazil. It's the little thing. I love this country, and it's amazing, and the people are nice, but it's the little things that get you. For example, I sold a saddle to this girl, a used saddle that I wasn't using, and... I went to box it up. Well, you know, it is hard to find boxes here in Brazil. I mean, really hard. So I go to the feed store and they have a box. And so I box up the saddle and the post office says, you can't use that set, that box because it has writing on it. So you need a different box. So I go everywhere. I go to the paper stores, the office stores. I go everywhere and I cannot find a box. So I actually found a box from a homeless guy on the street. I even tried to buy his box, but he wouldn't take my money. I even tried to trade in boxes, but he said no. So the box went with the saddle. Finally, it was a <laughs> different experience. Um, another thing that's going on, there is a prison here by my town and they let a guy out for good behavior. He was in for murder. He murdered his wife. And here in Brazil, they don't have the death penalty. And if you're on good behavior, you can get out, which I think is ridiculous but that's the law and he got out and what did he do he killed his girlfriend yes and now they have been seeing him around our house so last night I slept with two dogs a knife pepper spray and my cell phone and a light because I thought you know if he comes in I have this really strong flashlight that I bought at uh, Walmart when I was in the United States so I thought well if he comes in I'm gonna blind him with the light and then stab him and then stick the dogs on him but nothing has happened yet but it was it was funny. And that's pretty much it. I sold uh, some horses to Europe, some really, really nice horses, some of the best yet that I have trained and rode. Every time I, every year, every crop, every time I get a new horse in is always better than the last. We can never stop learning and I've been blessed to be able to take these, this experience of riding and apply it to each horse that comes through my barn. So I'm really excited about that. So they should arrive in Europe in the end of July or the first week or two of August. Um, and I will go there too and show the new people how to ride them. And I hopefully will remember to do a video blog from there. And I will leave for France here at the end of May. I'll be giving two clinics in France. So really excited about that. It's a beautiful country. Been there before several times. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, sold the horses to Europe, the prisoner guy, the fact that I cannot find a box in this town. Oh, why is that? And if you do find one, like I can, there's a town nearby, but it's like 40 miles away, I can find a box, I can buy a box, but it's $40, the box. So, oh, and I probably would have gone postal at the post office, except the lady there was so nice who helped me. She said, you know, even my second box had writing on it, but she told me to go get some paper, and she helped me wrap it up and send it. So, it was very good. And so, I got one of my used saddles out of the way to make room for one of my new saddles. And life is great here. Really, really great. So, like I said, I don't know if anybody's going to follow this or even listen to it, but when I'm old and gray, I'll look back and remember these days. So, ciao.